All right, I don't think it's gonna be going fast enough for a jump per se. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm just gonna pull out like a little bit of a backflip there. All right, so let's see here. We're gonna try for blue again. It goes red and then blue, right? I can cheat the game, red and blue. And then here's a red one right there. Oh, no! Okay, we're right close now. This thing is spinning super fast. Let's chop this thing down. Yes! Come on! Hey everybody, it's Moonbo here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode, we are going to be checking out some viewer creations. That's right, guys, I've got 10 absolutely amazing builds here in Scrap Mechanic that we are going to be seeing. They are mind-blowingly awesome. So if you guys do want to send your creations to me, though, then make sure you go down to the description, guys. You'll get all the information you need, and I will check them out, and you might see it in a future video. All right, guys, we got 10 creations. Let's get right into it. Okay, creation number one was sent to me by Zombie1919, and here we have an absolutely amazing bobcat with a trailer. So let's just kind of get a quick look at this thing here. Look at this. I love just how minimalistic it is, actually. It has some attachments in the back here. Hmm, let's see here. We got a few. Uh, so this one looks like it's like a nice steamroller thing, actually, an attachment there. Okay, so we got some red blocks. I'm trying to figure this out as we go here. We got some red blocks. I'm guessing we're going to be deleting those red blocks and hooking them up to the front here or something. All right, so let's see here. We've got ourselves a switch. Let's pop that open and hop into the uh, front little area here. I love the cages on the side here, actually. It makes me feel super safe. We've got, okay, we've got some buttons here. And that goes up. And it goes down. Oh, look! We can even tilt the uh, the forks up and down. I'm trying to see, how come it's not, why isn't it going up any higher? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. There's the door. Wow. Okay, pr let's pretend that didn't happen. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, the door was made of glass. I didn't notice it, guys. I forgot that the door was even there. Alright, so look at this. We have the, uh, the forks that can go up and down on the big arms there. And then we can also tilt the individual fork end like that. That is absolutely fantastic. And I think actually six is used for the attachments there. Alright, so let's actually... Let's try and drop this back down to level here. I'm thinking to start off, I'm probably going to want to use uh, these front ones here. So let's just, um, I guess we'll just break both of these. Like, oh, there's one more there. That. And another one. I'm just breaking all the red blocks. And we have ourselves this front one here. Okay, so this one... Okay, that one's actually detached as well, alright, so let's just move that over there. I guess actually, yeah, that makes sense, that's what it is. So I guess we'll just, we'll just delete those there and get rid of that. Alright, so we might as well grab this uh, grabber right here, actually, and we'll stick it on this. I've added an extra block here just to make it easier to delete, actually. There we go, I popped a little barrel down on the ground there, let's get back in here. Alright, I don't know, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do this or not. Alright, so we're going to have to lift this up pretty high. There we go, it's moving, nice and slowly. Come on now. And I guess we can probably just line it up like that, drop it down, okay. Six, got the barrel, all right. There we go, ah, that is awesome. Look at that, we got the barrel, we can hang on to it. I mean, I guess I can't really do much else with the barrel. We can actually, okay, here, we're gonna ditch this barrel. Let's see here, is this safe? Okay, yeah, we're still safe. Okay, here we go, there we go, drop the barrel. Ah, <laughs> yeah. We've got the little steamroller thing. All right, so we'll hook that up. Okay, wait, it looked like there was a logic gate up here as well. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll take the uh, six there, hook it up. All right, so let's press that. And I'm not sure if that's the way it's supposed to be. Drop it down. All right, there we go. So now what does the six key do? Okay, I see. So that's going to make it so that we can actually just run it flat like this, I believe. We actually can level it off with the wheels. There we go. Now we're actually getting a little bit of roll on it. Ah, oh, that's perfect. You know, I mean, this is not really where you would be using something like that. Um, okay, whoa, whoa. We got one more thing to check out before I drop this thing off of the side of the cliff. All right, so this one's kind of crazy because I actually had to lift the arms way up into the air like that so I could attach this here. Now, this one also has something that we can do. So let's just hook six up to that. Oh, that's what it is. Look, it's like a uh, like a hammer drill. Oh, that's so cool. Let's see here. Let's. I think it's doing that 
Do I just stop that? Oh, okay, there we go. I just stopped that. Whoops, I guess uh, for safety reasons, you would probably want to turn that off before you start engaging in some heavy equipment like this. All right, so I think I need to drop this down. Okay, wait, shut the door. Moonbow, shut the door. All right, here we go. Let's uh, turn it on. We're going to start jackhammering the ground. <laughs> That is actually really cool. This is like one of my favorite creations ever, actually. Just the way it has all the little features and stuff like that. Okay, I'm just gonna, whoops, pop out of here. But this thing is amazing. You guys should really check it out. But I think it's time to move on to creation number two. All right, so this next creation was sent to me by Mr. Wiz. This thing is amazing. Look at this. This is a super minimalistic motorcycle. I've got to say, this is one of these creations that does not waste a single piece. All right, so um, let's see here. There's a driver's seat there, and there's quite a bit going on. Obviously, this is using some type of suspension glitch, I would imagine. Uh, so let's see here. We can drive it around oh perfect and it's it's actually pretty quick and you can see it does like sometimes tip over uh, a little bit but it'll bounce you right back up again and you can just keep on driving so you really you can't flip this thing over look at that those sick drifts oh wow let's see if we can't uh, maybe just take it off of like a little bit of a jump here or something like that let's see oh I love the way that thing just skids around like that all right, I don't think it's going to be going fast enough for a jump per se. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm just going to pull out like a little bit of a backflip there. Uh, but look at this thing, guys. It's just so much fun to drive. And sometimes it's nice to just have a creation that doesn't go a million miles an hour. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's nice, you know, you have that super fast thing or whatever it is. Uh, but in the end, something like this, it just gets you around, you know, and you can kind of really just appreciate looking at it more than anything. Uh, then in my books, that's just one heck of a creation, guys. So make sure you go and check that out, because of course, all of the Steam Workshop links are down in the description. Uh, so let's check out creation number three. Next up, we've got another creation sent to me by Mr. Wiz, but guys, I just had to check this thing out. It is a mech. It's all vanilla for all of you scrap mechanic purists out there that want to keep the vanilla going. This thing is for you because it has four legs. It's a walking mech. It seats what? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it seats seven people. Uh, you have a driver's seat right there that moves all the legs, and you actually get to sit on either side and control the arms with your friends. I gotta say, this creation is just mind-blowing and it looks so cool but either way let's open up that front door there look at that beautiful piston glass wow it, it goes all the way down I I don't know if it was necessary to make it go all the way down since it did I might as well use it like an elevator I guess right let's just kind of there we go all right we're using this as an elevator get in okay there we go all right, so this is the mech, guys. Look at this. You can see, actually, before we start walking, look at the steering here. Uh, you can see each leg is rotating individually like that, so it's kind of like four-wheel steering. Except when you press W, you start walking your little legs there. So the arms are slightly in the way when you're starting to turn if you spawn it right off of the lift. Uh, but uh, obviously, you can very easily just hop right into the seat right here. I believe there it is. And you can start doing stuff. Okay, there we go. This arm is ridiculous. So this is like the claw arm. And I believe you can punch with it. Let's see. Does the Sometimes the piston... There it is. The piston doesn't work sometimes, but look, you can even punch with this arm as well as grasp at things. This is the uh, the right arm here. Uh, let's see, so that just straightens that out. I believe it's the same control to hold it up and down like that. And it looks like there's like some type of rifle mounted thing on his right arm there. That, that looks really cool. So one is kind of like tilt it in like that and push it back out again. It's almost like you just draw your weapon. It's like, on guard! That is so cool. It's like I did I... I think I just deployed the weapon or... It, oh, wait. Did I just deploy like the gun or is this thing like a smacking tool? Wait, watch this. Oh, wait. I'm pressing too many buttons here. All right, there we go. Let's just start smacking people. Oh my god, I want to I want to have like a slap fight with somebody in one of these mechs. It would probably the, be the laggiest thing ever, but that is an amazing mech, guys. But now it's time for creation number four. And would you look at that, guys? It is 
Yet again, another creation by Mr. Wiz. You know what? I'm just going to put a link to his entire Steam Workshop down in the description, guys. You guys might as well go and look at all of his creations. They are absolutely amazing because here we have this really awesome Mini Cooper. So it's just a super simple car using like a kind of like a mix of mods and vanilla by the looks of the uh, metal right here. But you can see it's just super tight and super compact. It's even using super tiny little wheels there. So... Let's see, we can press the switch and open it up. We can have a look inside. Well, look, we got the gear shifter, nice steering wheel, and everything. Uh, so really cramming it all into such a small little car. All right, so we can shut the door, and we can turn some lights on. All right, perfect. So this is really nice looking, and it's extremely fast. Wow, hold on here. I am I am going off the side of the cliff. Yep, nope, nope. Hold on to the rock. Uh-oh, okay, no, it's uh, it's happening. I think I better just embrace this now, maybe. No, no off-roading Mini Coop. No, okay, no, it's not off-roading. No, oh, maybe it is off-roading. Look at that. Jeez, all right, so let's try and get back on our two feet. There we go. It's also a trick car at the same time. All right, so let's see. We can drive around pretty easily, though. It doesn't have any suspension. I mean, maybe you might be able to cram like the little one by one suspension piece or something. Not sure how useful that would be, but nonetheless, I gotta say guys, this car is just so nice. Can we open that? Oh man, look at that. We can even open the back trunk. This is awesome. Amazing creation. Uh, so now it's time though for number five. Next up, we've got a creation that was sent to be my Mr. Aro. Now, this thing is really cool. This is like a little mini game slot machine kind of thing. So you can see right here in front of us, guys, we have three lights that are quickly blinking in between different colors. And we've got some little buttons right here in front of them. So the goal of this game is to match all three of these lights to be the same color. So we're going to do this right now. Let's see here. We're gonna stop this, what do I wanna stop it on? Do I wanna stop it on blue? Let's just kinda wait for blue, okay, there it is. All right, so now we'll stop the next one. It seems like it's spinning a bit faster, maybe. All right, where was the blue? Oh, no, oh, come on. All right, this one slowed right down for me because it's like, yeah, you're pitiful. There it is, so it's. I think it goes red and then blue. All right, so let's see here. We're gonna try for blue again. It goes red and then blue, right? I can cheat the game, red and blue. And then here's a red one right there. Oh, no! Try again. Okay, here we go. Press that. And... Oh, no, I didn't... Okay, can I just... I'm just gonna reset the whole thing. All right, here we go. We're gonna try for blue, guys. Come on. All right. Come on. Red, blue. So if this one goes so fast. How are you supposed to... No! Red, blue. And here we go, this one is, it is, right now. Oh, that's the hardest one, I got it! I finally got it! Okay, one more. There it is, oh yeah! Look at that! I am shooting laser beams up into space right now. What a victory for me. Alright, so do I just, I think I just uh, hit the reset again? Well, there you go. And that's all you gotta do. Uh, so that's a pretty cool creation. Um, I mean, uh, let's take out this thing here and pretend like, uh, yes, we know, hmm, yes, okay, that's... This one here is the thing that, you know, you put it right here. And once you do that, honestly, the whole thing just kind of, like, works itself out, right? Right? No, but seriously, guys, this creation is so cool. Make sure you go and check this one out. But now it's time to move to the next one. Alright, so here we have a really cool 7-7, which was created by Kirby. Now, this thing looks really mean, doesn't it? I love the usage of the curve and the uh, wedge piece there. Uh, this thing just looks so, so cool. And I gotta say, it's, it's pretty large as well, but um, I'm sure once we hop inside, we might get a bit of a better idea here. Okay, no, this thing is pretty big, actually. Look at that, the shifter there. We have all sorts of, oh, there's a bunch of switches, too, and even a coffee mug. I mean, I don't know if you'll ever be able to drink coffee in this thing, because, let's see, okay, it does have thruster power, but look at this thing, guys. This thing is so fast, and, I mean, like, it can, it, it can moderately fly. Two, what is that? Okay, two is, um, super speed. Wow. How, how did I not just, like, really poorly crash there. Oh, look at this. It's one of those new tile blocks. 
It's like little mini Stonehenge. All right, so this thing is super fast, though. Let's, can we, like, I want to try and fly here. All right, here we go. Come on, no. Oh, jeez. There it is. Are we flying? Okay, no, you can't quite fly with this thing. I, I really don't think it's designed to do that. Uh-oh. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. I think we pretzeled it. Oh, yeah, this thing is pretzeled. Okay, there it goes. It fixed itself. But that's a really cool creation. It's absolutely crazy. If you check it out, make sure you try it on some concrete blocks, guys, like a big racetrack or something. I bet you you will have loads of fun. But now let's check out something else. Okay, so this one here is a Desert Rover. Now, I read that before I saw a Desert Rover, and then I, I looked at this thing, and then I saw this. And I was like, what? What are you even, what are you roving? What is this for? Where are we? In what world are we driving this thing that we would need something so crazy like that? But you know what? This thing is absolutely fantastic. Look at that. We got pistons there. We got electric motors. This thing has quite a bit of stuff going on, guys. So let's, um, let's hop into the driver's seat right here, I think. All right, so let's see. We can drive. Okay, it's not going very fast. I'm not sure if the engines are supposed to be low. Oh, that's so cool. Look at this. When you press 2, it gives you, like, that extra boost. But you can see there's, like, something, the like, a big barrel spinning there. And it's almost like it's you're kicking in, like, the generator, you know, when you're generating all of that extra power. Uh, and I think... Let's see. We can... <laughs> oh, that's funny. Look at that. We can actually put the, uh, the pistons on just like that and actually get some extra... Uh-oh extra wobbliness okay as i was saying we can use the pistons like that now what does four do okay there it is there is that blade all right so we're actually probably gonna want the uh, the pistons there you know what where's a where's a tree at we got to go find ourselves a tree to chop down i think this is gonna be the tree right here let's see all right this thing is already spinning chop it down yeah come on chop it's not it won't it's not chopping, guys. You know what? I'm gonna have to just make do here and uh, actually get something to chop down. There we go. There's something that we can actually chop down. All right, we got the blade spinning. Let's get closer and closer. Okay, we're right close now. This thing is spinning super fast. Let's chop this thing down. Yes! Come on, chop it! There we go. All right. <laughs> okay, it took a really big chunk out. All right, am I am I taking this thing with me? Are you coming with me there, Log? Because uh, I don't I don't think I really want you to come with me. All right, no, I think... Okay, I am stuck on the logs now. Okay, whoops. Um, you know what? It's kind of funny that this is a desert rover, so why would I be chopping trees down when I'm in the desert? I don't know, but this thing is really cool. So make sure you check this one out as well. But now it's time to see something different. Next up, we've got this extremely awesome Peterbilt truck that was created by Dodge26. Now, just take a look at this thing, guys. This looks so nice. And I love making trucks and cars and vehicles in this game, so I definitely have a huge appreciation for them, that's for sure. Well, you can see there's a lot of effort and a lot of work that went into just the general details of this thing, and uh, it's probably very true to what a truck like this would actually be. Look, it even has... Okay, it even has a really cool mod here. I'm not sure which mod this is like, okay, hold on here. Look, I want to show you guys. This is what it's like when you're doing viewer creations, okay? If I was like, you know what, I want to build something and I want to grab that thing down at the bottom. I don't know what it is. Just look at this. If I want to see viewer creations, this is what I have to deal with. All right, so let's see here. We're going to open this up. Now, before we go right inside, I want to show you guys something. Let's just kind of uh, hoist this up on the lift here real quick. On the inside here, underneath the engines, you can see he actually has a very unique steering system. And this is like a rack and pinion style anyway, as far as the, uh, the movements go. So you can see the steering bearing is right there, and there are no more... Um, connections from the seat to any of these bearings here so it's all controlled from that one right there and we're gonna get inside and you're gonna actually get to see what that looks like so uh, it's kind of difficult to uh, really see it actually maybe if we just kind of uh, go there we go look so there's the uh, the little rack and pinion style steering that is gonna bounce back and forth like that so it's actually turning a whole bunch of bearings uh, it's uh, it's definitely an impressive design all right, so we can definitely drive this thing around. What do we have here? We got switches. 
I'm pressing that. Okay, so that's that door. Okay, so there's just the two doors. It's definitely one heck of a design here, guys, as far as the detail goes. there, It seems like there's probably not much missed here. Look, there, look at this. There's even, like, the half blocks that are used as a very comfy, I think, the very thin mattress uh, that you would sleep in when you're doing the long drives. And look at this. There's even cushioned seats underneath it there. Look, that looks awesome. And I love the uh, the usage of the mods on the inside here. Extremely minimalistic and very detailed as well. So I gotta say, this truck is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so let's go and check out another extremely epic truck. So here we have the Bloody Cruiser. This thing was sent to me by the Crafty One. It is one heck of a build, guys. Look at this thing. He said he spent over two hours, I think it was like three hours or something, he must have spent detailing this thing. Like, look at this. We've got the wheels hidden behind cages. Now, if you guys didn't realize yet, this is definitely some type of apocalyptic war... Who knows what defense vehicle that is extremely armored and no doubt it would be extremely tough to fight this thing in the battlefield. So, let's have a look here. We got a switch here that is going to open... Alright, that's going to open our main door right there. Uh, I want to see if there's anything else. So that's a switch there. Is there one here? Okay, so there's a switch here as well for a door on this side here. And that is... Is that... Is that what I think it is? Is that a skull? Hold on here, guys. Hold on. Let's, uh... Let's just see real quick. I'm not too sure if this is intentional or not. I don't know, but that looks really cool. All right, so we're getting a little distracted here. All right, so let's hop inside. We've got all sorts of stuff here. Is that just going to... Okay, that'll shut that down just like that. This really makes me think this is all vanilla as well, actually. This is another one of those vanilla builds. All right, so let's see here. This is... Okay, that's the thing I painted. Oh, look at that. It is a turret mount. That is so cool. Look, we can actually get a view. Look, I'm I'm still convinced that's a skull, guys. All right, but look at that. We got the gun mounted there. Look, we'll open this one up as well. So we've got one on either side of this thing. And this is probably going to be a back door. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. I love the fact that they interlock like that. What is, oh, there's a hole here. Can I? I don't think I can. Can I get up there? Nope. How am I going to do this? Alright, so let's see here. This looks so cool. Like, even up here, look at this. Every little bit is accounted for, you know? There's nothing that is just not accounted for as far as detail goes. Uh, it's so nice. But this is really cool. This is, like, the little turret area. Oh, look at that. You even have, like, a little viewing hole right here as well. Oh, man. There we go. Alright, so... <laughs> This thing is not extremely fast, I will admit, but you know what? You don't even necessarily need to be extremely fast. Maybe this is like one of those zombie apocalypses, and they're not very fast zombies, and you just kind of want to slowly drive through them and, and take care of business. I don't know. And there it is, guys. That is the Bloody Cruiser. That is one cool creation. And now it's time to check out just one more, guys. Alright, so for the last creation, guys, we are going to be checking out this extremely cool jetpack. Like, look at this thing. It's just so simple and so minimalistic. Uh, we're going to try and fly it. Uh, but this thing was created by Almighty Mjolnir, and it looks just absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? I mean, we can actually take a look at the... Uh, holy crap, look at this connection tool. Look at all of those bearings and stuff. Wow. I was not... Expect oh wait is that okay there's like a whole bunch of engines a whole bunch of bearings in there uh definitely excited to try this out all right so let's just get into this modded seat all right here we are i guess there's only one thing to do guys and that is just to try and fly this jetpack and we are now flying all right zoom out here a little bit turn around let's try it with strict follow cam actually i think this is going to be important all right now we're just going to tilt it oh, okay there we go oh no tilt up this jetpack is insane! It's so much fun to fly, guys. I'm really trying my hardest not to crash, though. But once you get used to it, this thing is just natural. Look at that. We can actually... You can probably even start doing some really cool tricks and stuff with this thing. Because this thing should be rotating. Yeah, look at this! I'm flying it so smooth-like. Let's try and land this thing very softly on, on the landing pad right there, actually. Let's do that. All right, we're getting closer. Level it out. Back it up a bit. There we go. Boom. Look at that. Right on the landing pad. That 
is so cool. Guys, I urge you all to go to the description right now and check these out on the Steam Workshop. All ten of them, they're absolutely fantastic. Uh, so I want to thank everybody, though, for sending me these extremely amazing creations, guys. I am always super impressed with what everybody can come up with and the stuff that you guys make and the, using the mods and everything. It's just some of the most impressive stuff I've ever seen in Scrap Mechanics. So thanks again for sending them my way. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed any of these builds or if you did enjoy the video, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to see some more endless Scrap Mechanic, then why not hit the subscribe button as well and maybe even turn on notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest stuff in Scrap Mechanic coming from me. Uh, so thank you so much everybody for tuning in and I will be seeing you guys in the next one so bye for now.